On September 9th, Swedish voters will go to the polls to elect members of the parliament, who will then pick the prime minister. In that election, a far-right party with neo-Nazi origins has a shot at becoming the most powerful in the country. The crime rates, the rape rates, are increasing in Sweden. Uh, and more and more people are feeling much more insecure. I mean, two weeks ago we have 100 cars burning in Sweden and people don't recognize their hometown, their country anymore. Jürgen Fogelklu's party, the Sweden Democrats, has been portraying crime in Sweden as an apocalyptic issue and blaming it on migrants and refugees. Their hardline stances have pressured candidates across the political spectrum to ratchet up anti-immigrant sentiment as well. Stina Holmberg, a researcher at the Swedish National Council for Crime Prevention, says crime has never been so important in an election. So, the overall picture is that it's no, no strong increase in crimes in general, but an increase in shootings in segregated areas, in gang crimes. Otherwise, we are not actually certain whether there is a, a crime increase. Last month, more than 80 cars were arsoned in the space of a few hours in some heavily immigrant, low-income neighborhoods in Gothenburg. I was on my way home and I saw seven or eight cars uh, burning. It actually felt like a war zone seeing all the cars burning and seeing the tires exploding. It's a testament to how much the political landscape has shifted that Swedish Prime Minister Stefan Levain, a member of the center-left Social Democratic Party, considered sending in the military after the fires. His party in the past has been known as strong advocates for social welfare and lighter prison sentences. Karim Zua grew up in Sweden. He runs a youth center in one of the areas the Sweden Democrats portray as unsafe. He says that's not what he sees here. You can twist uh, all types of uh, statistics uh, the way you want to. There's criminality everywhere. But at a rally in Gothenburg, supporters of the Sweden Democrats said they feared the wave of immigrants was robbing Sweden of its sense of self. 